Hey, flexibility coming back at you with another episode of Old His Sneaker Closet. What do we have coming out of the closet today? Boom, it's obvious. What the croc? Yeah, your boy pulled out some crocs. We have crocs. But first, shout out to Luis Ronoma. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. For the oop and the croc queen for assistance on securing this particular pair in general. What the actual croc? We have recently seen a resurgence of crocs in popularity in addition to the increase in the resale value of these shoes. What is going on? I don't know. But I had to find out for myself because everyone's hailing these to be comfortable. Um, these are great shoes. We've seen them. We've seen nurses wearing them. We've seen doctors wear them. We see people and kids wearing them um, at the beach. They haven't gone anywhere. They've been around. However, since Bad Baby, Jay Baldwin, Justin Bieber, Post Malone, all of these individuals decided to collab with the Croc family and produce their own particular Crocs. Chinatown Market, that was a huge one. Um, these shoes have gone insane on the resale market. So if the resale market um, is on an uptick, they are going to spark an interest with the likes of the sneaker community and other individuals that may have overlooked these Crocs. Um, shout out to Finish Line 2 for some of the history on these Crocs. FYI, this video is not sponsored by anyone. I'm just giving credit where credit is due. Um, Finish Line actually gave us some information regarding Crocs. Crocs produced, were produced around 2002. However, they were around before that. Three individuals got together to mass produce the Crocs. Um, however, two other individuals were on a cruise with the one individual whose last name is Seaman. Pause. That actually is his name. Um, was wearing a pair on a Caribbean trip. And the other two individuals were like, um, those are fire. We need those. They end up getting back from the trip, partnering with um, a Canadian outfit and producing about 200 pairs of these and selling them at a um, boat show. They show, sold out instantly. So then the individuals decide to mass produce and you have your wave of Crocs. These were collabed with Carrot Company, um, hence why it says carrots all over the, the Crocs there. Um, I wanted to see if these things are as comfortable as everyone professes them to be. Um, I mean, the shoe, it's, it's the Croc itself is an actual, it's a Croc. It is what it is. You can't get around that. It's a rubberized shoe. Um, it feels like the heel tab is, um, rubber also yeah it's rubber on the heel with these nylon straps i was told by a young kid um that when you wear your crocs this way um is the normal way which i thought was insane but because that's how this individual had them on but then she said when you flip them back you're in adventure mode granted that young lady is probably 10 years of age <laughs> um however it makes sense because your foot strapped in and secure it. So you're in adventure mode. I stayed in adventure mode for the seven days that I wore these particular Crocs. Um, give or take, maybe six. Um, and stay tuned for the rest of the video because I know some followers have said that they stopped watching it because they get bored, I guess. But there's B-roll. So stay tuned because I'm rocking a couple outfits with these Crocs. I wore these every day to work. Um, they definitely captivated people's attention, good and bad. Um, but the comfort level that people hail these to bring, it's not there for me. I didn't feel it. I don't know if it's my foot. I have no idea. I have no idea how a nurse or a doctor walks around the hospital for 12, 14 hours wearing these things. They did not hurt, but I would definitely wear a pair of Yeezy, even an Air Force One before I put on one of these. What am I going to do with this particular pair? I have no idea. We'll figure it out. I haven't wrapped my brain around that yet. But I warm. So, uh, Tracy G, don't stress that I'm switched 
to the Crocs and I need some mental help. I don't. Don't send help. It's all good, y'all. Old Hit Sneaker Closet. Still here with another video. Not switching over to Crocs. They're great. They're durable. They held up. You can see these things after wearing them for a few days. It's still in really good condition. And like I said, you can tell I wore these. They're worn out. There's, there's tread marks on the bottom. These are, I mean, great shoe to kick around in. Great shoe to kick. You don't own a pair and you do gardening um, and you just want something to throw on. Um, I even walked around outside picking up um, after my dog and my foot didn't get wet. So it was morning dew, you know, wasn't washing the car, but it was morning dew and no water got in. So honest review of them. They're durable. They're great quality. They're inexpensive. They look eh. I pulled some fits off. In my opinion, you make the judge. But sneaker flexibility is sticking with sneakers, y'all. Go out there. Be great. Then go be greater. Bam. There it is for you. For your head top. Got the Crocs. Peace.